Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use counterbore and countersink holes inside of the Cadence PCB tools. So um, there is the capability, um, if we look at a hole here, for example, to, to set a hole up to be a, a, a countersink or a counterbore hole um, on a specific side of the board. Um, so if we go and look at this in the 3D view, so if we zoom in here and we actually have a look at this pad stack, you can see obviously there's a there's a countersink in the top of this um, and that's specifically on this primary side or the top of the board now if i wanted to put this countersink hole on the bottom side uh, the way we would do that is use pad stack editor so we can go to tools pad stack modify design pad stack you can do this in the library as well i'm just going to do it specifically in this design so we'll select the the specific pad stack itself do a right click edit this launches pad stack editor if we look at the secondary drill tab, obviously you can see this is where the countersink or the countable settings are. Um, and we can then just change that to maybe the secondary side. I'm just going to also increase the size diameter on here. And if we do a file update to design and exit, and um, if we then go back to the 3D view again and zoom in, obviously the primary side is just a, a pad now and a, with a through hole on the back side. Now you can see effectively the the countersink hole so a nice easy way to control which side of the board you want your counterbore and countersink hole